Hello everyone, this is Nori and I wanted to try out something new for quite a while. As you may have noticed by now, I have a YouTube model. I made her myself and I wanted to make some content using her so it wouldn't go to waste or something. 10 Art Style Challenge I've started with my own art style, since uh, it's uh, something basic and I don't really think much when I draw in this way. It's like drawing how you feel. A few words about my art style. I really like pointy and edgy shapes, just like animations I make sometimes, okay? And something geometrical. As for color, I usually use some bright and really saturated colors. So when I'm stuck with some color palette or I have to draw something in the pastel tones, it can be a problem for me because I have this urge to make everything really saturated. <laughs> I was stuck in the middle of an art block for a while and it was really hard to make myself paint something again. So the first uh, picture was a one big troublesome for me because I just kept redoing uh, details over and over again. A really sad part about all of this is the, the fact that I really liked the sketch that I made and I just lost uh, everything I liked about it while I was making an art, an art line. Sometimes it happens. Uh, I believe the main reason for that is that uh, lines got too artificial because I just uh, made them too... How, how can I put it? Uh, too strict, I guess. It uh, just got lost in the process. <laughs> and I acknowledged that I don't like what I'm doing and I tried to fix it over and over again and it, just, for some reason, just didn't work. Sometimes you need to stop yourself from redoing something because it just becomes a full circle and... In such times you need uh, either take a break or uh, just give up and say it's okay, I'll do better next time. <laughs> so I kinda gave up. <laughs> For the artists who have the same struggle as me, I wanted to tell you that it's okay not working on your 100% every time, so if you feel like this piece isn't the best that you ever made and it's not good enough, like, let yourself go, it's okay, it's okay not to be the best all the time. I'm not saying that you should never fix your own mistakes or like you should never try to redraw something, just don't push yourself too much. I've spent two hours on this piece and about one hour I just kept uh, redoing one sketch <laughs> over and over again. And by looking at her now, she looks pretty okay. Not the best, but uh, she's pretty cute and uh, I don't feel such a misery when I look at her like I did when I was drawing. <laughs> For the first art style I tried to mimic, I chose Gravity Falls one. It uh, looks pretty simple. The characters have pretty big heads, small bodies, and there is a funny part about eyes. They are placed really close together, there is no space in between, so at first my brain just stopped working. I, was, I, 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 I didn't understand the fact that there is no space between the eyes, I just uh, was staring at the picture and couldn't understand why does it look so wrong, why? <laughs> Talking about eyes in this art style, it's just a circle and there is no iris in the eye. It's just pure pupil. Mostly only female characters have eyelashes that are drawn like two lines. Also, this art style doesn't have much of a sharp and pointy lines. All the shapes are rounded in some way. This even applies to the Bill Cipher, despite him being a triangle, literally. His corners are really rounded, like if you give it a close look.
in overall, I've spent on this art piece about half an hour. It was such a pleasure to draw in this art style. It's just... Uh, you, you, you were just vibing. <laughs> For the next art style, I chose Wings the Club. It, it's an Italian cartoon that's pretty old. It firstly came out somewhere in the 2004, but I've seen it in 2010 or 2011, I don't know, I'm not sure, somewhere in there. The main controversy of my childhood was which cartoon was better, the Wings Club or the Witch. If I get to choose now, I would say it's a witch, since it has more dark fantasy vibes. I believe that witch was much better in character building. But as a kid, I liked Wings Club more, since it had more... It felt more magical and uh, safe, I guess. Talking about Wings art style, it has sharp edges, like really sharp. And the part that was really bothering me is the way they still lie sleeps. They're like... I really dislike drawing lips, like drawing the upper lip, the bottom lip, like drawing the whole lip thing. I, I prefer more like uh, drawing one line that resembles a mouth and that's it. Colors are really bright and saturated in this art style. Hair has strong highlight like in the anime style. It depends on the scene, but usually Winx has its line art colored and not just painted in black. It took me about 40 minutes. For the next one, I chose Star Wars Forces of Evil. I'm not sure what I can say much about the show, since I... I remember I watched it all, but it had sometimes really questionable way of storytelling, and uh, they kind of dropped everything for the final, and it was like a huge uh, discussion about how bad the decision of destroying magic was, okay. But I remember I really liked the Eclipse storyline and the way they portrayed her magic and she had that really special feeling to her, like every time she was on the screen you knew that something outstanding is going to happen. The art style is pretty similar to a Steven Universe-like, I believe. It also has a lack of pointy lines and shapes. The head has uh, been like shape, and eyes are oval and stretched upwards, like vertically. I really like how the princesses had their special marks on their cheeks. It's a pretty neat detail. It took me half an hour. The next one is The Old House. I'm currently watching it right now and really looking forward to the third season and I'm kind of super mad at Disney for the shorter in this season, like two or three episodes. Thank you very much. 
I just love how the show isn't filtered. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> isn't filled with fillers uh, at all. Okay, maybe in the first season there were some episodes that were like fifty-fifty uh, about the way they were affecting the main plot, but uh, in overall, uh, it has a pretty neat storyline. I just love the way they uh, write their main cast. Also, it was such a pleasure to watch how adult ca characters uh, are behaving like an actual adults who are not going to just leave every problem on the kids and just like uh, they'll deal, deal with it. Because Ida was actually terrified by the whole situation they were stuck in. She had no power, no plan and no allies who can help her, so she came up with an idea to just uh, hide loose somewhere to give her a chance to live through it all, despite her wanting to help. I like how Hunter is now trying to socialize and his new friends, uh, Gus and Willow, are trying to help him out with it, with his anxiety and the whole uh, process of trying to get away from the toxic parent figure. Same for the Amity, but she had the strength to herself to con confront her mother. I also pretty enjoy the way that Willow managed to go through from the environment she wasn't fit in, that wasn't meant for her. She finally find out something that gave her strength and something that she really enjoys and loves to do in the whole plant magic thing. And also her sport team is adorable. It took me about 26 minutes. For the next one I chose Madoka Puella Magica, an anime that seems pretty sweet and kind at the, at the first look, but still having this eerie feeling about something isn't right. And then goes to the total angst and glass, it's just eating glass, it's just so painful. And it's not like trying to be cruel and trying to shock the viewer. Mm. It, it definitely does so, <laughs> but not the way that the like Maho Soju said. So Madoka has a special place in my heart. I still love this show and I remember I even did, uh, I'm not sure, two animation with it. So if you're a fan, maybe check it out, please. The fun fact about uh, this drawing process, I first uh, really hate seeing art line because my hands are really shaky and I just can't manage it. And I really, and I really dislike working with light and calm colors. And here there is a quintessence of these two thin combined, the thin art line and calm colors. And suddenly I enjoyed the process of drawing this. I was pretty much surprised. And also I liked how it looked in the end. That shocked me even twice. So maybe in the future I'll work more with column colors and thin art line. I believe that it's uh, the biggest benefit of drawing a different art style because you are trying something new that you never considered trying before and now you can uh, have more ways of working with your own art. Like if, if there is something you have never tried and never considered because it would be too hard for you or you just uh, think it wouldn't be worth it. But uh, sometimes you need to uh, think less and do more. <laughs> I spent uh, 35 minutes on this. For the next one I chose Castlevania. It's a Netflix animated show about vampires, which I enjoyed pretty much. I've seen some screenshots with subtitles and I thought it was edited because it had some... 
It was... I'm, I'm not sure. It was just... <laughs> I'll just put it some here, somewhere here, because I cannot express what I mean by that. I just was like, is it a real thing or not? And it was a real thing. I was pretty much scared of drawing this style, because it has some... Not much of a realistic vibe, but not as cartoonish as before. Same with Georgia. And I was scared to mess it up a lot. I really love the way they portray eyelashes. It's like uh, they're so pointy and the eyelashes on the downside of the eye, it's not connected to the eye line. It's like a little bit uh, two inches uh, aside from the eye, so it gives such a special look. The same way, eyelashes are drawn in a berserk in the old uh, version about the... I, I've just noticed. <laughs> So it took me about an hour. Okay, I've noticed that this video is going long enough, so I'll make a part two with the rest of her art styles. And here what I got for now. So thank you for watching, subscribe, leave a like, and check out my normal content, because usually I'm trying to animate things. So thank you, see you next time. <laughs>